hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you logo design inspiration and which is really cool and you can make from the one base and you can make lots of logos from there so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications going to the file at first going to the taking new options and here the giving the name logo inspiration and hit the create button okay after that going to the line segment tool from here press the shift and hold it and drawing a line like this and making this black okay nice and press the shift and press the shift and option button at a time and just make one copy okay controller command d and you can make this one 12 times 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so after making them making it group and making it into middle of the artboard so make sure that the alignment to artboard or align to artboard is selected and after that right press and here the rotation from the transform rotate and give here 90 degree and hit the copy you are getting like that and after that making them into group and making it into middle of the artboard and here going to the ellipse tool from here drawing the ellipse according to uh, this big square shape so this one like that okay that's good and ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy f for the forward paste and making them into the next one ctrl c ctrl f making them copy making them copy that's good and all the steps select once and making it to middle okay after that control or command a and shift m so control or command a for the select all the steps and shift m for the like uh, shape builders tools from here i'll just make the selection from here before that you have to select a color from here and you can make these things slowly so like this so like this actually we want to make z from here and okay the simply g and you can just check double check if any portion left you have to select that portion and you have to make that properly okay after that we want to delete the lines at a time here the magic one tool select once the all line will select and delete okay that's good and this one i'll make it rotation like this or like this that's good and after that turning off the stroke mode after that we'll cut over here so p from the keyboard and select once here and select once here just make the dimension or cut over here press the return button that's good select all the stops and actually you can divide this one with the shape builders tool and pathfinder pathfinder is more easier i'm selecting over here if you want to get the pathfinder over here going to the window and from the pathfinder options you can get the pathfinder so here is a pathfinder option from here okay after that here i'll divide that one thing is that when uh, you just uh, got the p from the pen tool uh, you should select this one as a stroke so make it a stroke at first select all the steps pathfinder and divide right press and ungroup now we are getting two part of this from here I have uh, some uh, gradient you can go to the gradient portion so I'll provide you the gradient download link in my video description taking the gradient um, from here okay and now I from the keyboard select once and I from the keyboard select once so this one if you want to make the differentiation over here going to at first select all the steps G from the keyboard and making the gradient like this so i want to make it difference so g from the keyboard and just drawing another steps from here 
we're getting a little bit uh, changes over here so now time to make some options so copying this one by pressing alter option button and if you rotate this one you can make another options and if you rotate this one you are made, get, getting another options so from here like uh, i want to make it d right press and transform and reflect from here making it d and hit ok and from here actually i will take this one right press transform and reflect from here horizontal hit ok and select this right press transform and reflect vertical horizontal actually we should take this one from here right press transform and reflect so here that's good okay so you can rearrange them and you can make this the different types of color selecting this one i from the keyboard and selecting another color okay g from the keyboard arranging the color properly so this one i from the color picker or this one g from the keyboard selecting this i from the color picker selecting this I from the color picker select this one G from the keyboard and you can make a difference from here uh, this type of stuffs lots of gradient you can use one of them it's totally up to you and this one so you can lots of variation if you uh, just rotate this one or you can just make this one a little bit different so from here from the gradient options I will make this one changes a little bit okay you have to make sure that this cut is uh, visible uh, it's really good and really creative and you can maintain this one a little bit yeah that's good so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say i'm signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye